Before we begin, it's important that I emphasize a few disclaimers. By no means am I calling the individuals mentioned in this video scammers. Consider what you are about to see a criticism of their business practices and promoted ideologies, not an incitement of harassment or hate. I have no way of knowing their true intentions. It is entirely possible that those mentioned have created their teachings with good intent, no matter how misguided those teachings have become. And whilst I will be including sources to back up every claim that I make, treat this video as my own opinion and conclusions surrounding the subject of New Age spirituality and new thoughts related ideas. Now, to those who think I am criticizing anyone who is trying to make money, you have misunderstood my position. One look at my channel will show you, I have no problem with somebody making money. However, I do take issue with the context surrounding how they make their money. A lot of people actually were in my group were attending the events, the courses, in a hope to make money so that they could feed their family, but you know, unfortunately they have lost it. So New Age spirituality has seen incredible growth in the mainstream having a huge influence on the self-help industry thanks to figures like Napoleon Hill, Rhonda Byrne and others who I will be discussing further. But what seemingly goes unnoticed is the booming business behind it that I think does more harm than good. When you, when you recognize your vibrational frequency, you're drawing into yourself all the time, literally, the vibration that is most like what you're putting out. Right. There was a woman who had cancer who refused medical treatment because she believed in the secret. In this video, we'll take a look at some of its most influential figures, its roots, and how it is fundamentally built from a flawed and dangerous disregard for reality. Now, it would be impossible for me to cover the entirety of the New Thought movement in just one video. So bear in mind that there will be influential figures in this industry that I fail to mention or decide to cut. However, I want you to take notice of the patterns. From multi-level marketing, to scammers, to self-help, to pseudoscience, to subtle deception. I'll aim to demonstrate why I think New Age spirituality has inherently allowed itself to become the perfect grift. It begins with a seemingly simple, innocent idea. Thinking positive will bring about positive experiences into one's life. With mainstream promotion of the idea, with celebrities promoting it, entire careers based around teaching it, surely there's merit to the law of attraction. But the further you go down that rabbit hole, the less innocent things become. I, I had friends that were telling me that the secret is real. Law of attraction, manifestation, how to effectively manifest your dream life. It is a cult thinking about it, it's a cult that's simply based around money. At first, everything seems okay. Everything is welcoming. The way they did it, they don't tell you what it is. I got more people out pushing something than selling it. I'm, it's confusing to me. What is it? <sighs> All right. When the opportunity is presented to you, when you're told that your dreams can be achieved faster than you think, Broke is only a mindset. That wealth is not as far off as you think it is. That financial freedom is yours for the taking. When these things are dangled in front of you like a carrot on a stick, when it sounds too good to be true, but believing otherwise means losing hope, why would you refuse? 